Push, 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 push. Plant, that's it. Get the knees up, let's go. Come on, push it, let's go. Keep moving, three. Come on, two. Good, come on. Strong. Stay strong, let's go. Power, power, let's go. Get up, get up, get up. Good. Stand shit up. Good. Let's go. All day. Good hip rotation. Come on. Good strong steps. Good strong steps. Let's go. Keep moving. Good. Drive the legs. if I believe it. I really don't. Do you feel like he's saying this? Maybe because you saw it is knocking on his door. Too. I've seen a lot of chatter on Twitter about that, where this guy's just sick of getting woken up at 4 and 5 in the morning to pee and get his blood taken. Do you think that's part of the reason why he's announcing his retirement now? Yeah, I'm, I mean, that was my first thought as well. And, and I, I jumped on online, you know, because you saw it does have records to show you know, who's been drug tested when. They don't have a specific date, but, you know, you can, you can look up by quarter and, and see if, if the guy's been drug tested or not. Um, from what I can see online, he was not tested in the fourth quarter of last year, and he has not been tested yet this year. So, you know, I, again, like, just as you mentioned, that was the first thing that came to my head, is that maybe he's getting drug tested, doesn't want to get drug tested, so now he just uh, conveniently announces his retirement, and then the drug test stops. Um, it looks like he really hasn't been drug tested, but... I don't know. I mean, unfortunately, when you're talking about Brock Lesnar, you're left to speculate about a lot because you never talk to anybody. But I would say that just speculating, I would agree with you, Brian. I, I don't take this as a, a real retirement. I don't take this as, you know, I've decided to really never come back ever again and pick up a $3 million, $4 million payday. I, I don't think this, that that is definitive at all just because he's told the UFC that he's done. 